friends welcome to the continuation of a new lecture on seizures so in our last class we have learned what is the difference between a seizure and epilepsy how are you going to classify a person into epilepsy and now uh, we have already seen a small classification of seizures now let us learn to classify to let us learn about one of the classification one of the uh, division of seizures which is called the focal seizures okay now we are going to learn about focal seizures so here uh, in the focal seizures the electrical activity in the focal seizure can be localized to a one hemisphere or it can be localized to a one area in the hemisphere okay it can be localized to one hemisphere or one area of hemisphere so uh this focal seizure involves only some part of the body or one part of the body like hand movements or something else so now here the um neuronal network is either one hemisphere or a small part a discretely localized part in the cerebral hemisphere now the focal seizures are divided into two types focal seizures are now divided into two types number 1 without cognitive uh, without discognitive features and the second one is with discognitive features okay what is this discognitive features previously uh, the focal seizures are divided into two types previously they were called as simple focal seizures and and complex focal seizures but now the simple focal seizures has been renamed as without cognitive feature seizures so this is simple focal seizures which is known previously and this cognitive with this cognitive features is complex focal seizures now my question is why is why did they rename it because once upon a time uh, when the people came to know that they have simple focal seizures then they used to think that it's simple it's not so um, a serious condition and they used to ignore it so they started to change these words to a, li to a little complicated word so that which even includes some which even uh, uh, tells us some meaning about it so without this cognitive feature the cognition is normal consciousness normal intelligence and normal brain function so cognition is the normal um, intellectual ability of a person so this cognition the, the cognitive abilities are lost without this cognition it is he had his um, cognitive abilities are normal that is without this cognition so without this cognition is um okay without this cognition in this there is no loss of consciousness because his cognitive abilities are normal but here there is loss of consciousness in this cognition he is unable to recall the event because if you ask him what is what happened sorry he is able to recall the event he has cognitive abilities are normal so he is able to recall the event if you ask him what happened just prior uh, to the episode and how the um, episode has gone uh, he will explain it clearly in this cognitive features or in this cognitive focal seizures with this cognitive features he is not able to recall the event and then there are some things which are different in focal uh, seizures with cognition and without uh, uh, with without discognition and with discognition okay so first let us learn a, a few features about the focal seizures without discognitive features okay so this focal seizures without this cognitive features can have motor 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 part or sensory part or autonomic symptoms or psychic symptoms but they he does not have a uh, discognition he is he does he has he does not have impairment in cognition his cognitive abilities are normal so here cognitive abilities are normal here they are not normal they are abnormal okay so first how does the focal seizure 
focal for I me mean, focal seizure with discognitive features go on so as i said number 1 there are motor symptoms okay i will just tell you about the motor symptoms first and then sensory symptoms and then um autonomic and then psychic and then alteration alternation other symptoms okay first in motor symptoms the seizure starts mainly from the primary motor cortex area so in the brain there will be an area which is a uh, primary motor area so the seizure activity starts in this area okay so if it starts in some uh, hand movement areas if if in this primary motor area there is uh, homunculus motor homunculus if the seizure activity starts in the hand area there will be uh, involuntary clonic movements of hand clonic is repetitive flexion and extension like this flexion extension flexion extension flexion extension like that the repetitive extension and flexion movements of hand occurs so uh, this can occur if it involves the uh, in motor homunculus if it involves the uh, face area then there will be involuntary movements of face can occur so generally it includes only one a part of the body at least a hand or a face or fingers or legs any uh, one uh, segment of the body is involved and there will be the uh, the um, and there will be uh, the electrical activity is mainly from the primary motor uh, area okay now there are three main you know uh, named uh, things of uh, focal motor seizures which we have to know one is jacksonian march jacksonian march so what is this jacksonian march jacksonian marches if you have think that this is a person okay and he has legs hands and here he has fingers okay in jacksonian march the uh, abnormal motor movements they start from the fingers this is first they start here and then slowly they progress uh, to the hand and then slowly they progress to the uh, for uh, arm for arm and then they progress to the arm and then they reach the hand and the whole larger extremity that is the whole upper limb that is one part of the upper limb it will um have tonic clonic movements a uh, clonic movements you know motor movements so that is called as jacksonian march so jacksonian marches it starts from a, sim, a, a small area like a fingers and then it can move upwards or sometimes it start from above and move down downwards so it can be proximal to distal movement of the um seizure can be there or distal to proximal movement of the seizure can be there so this type of seizure is called as jacksonian march so this is a type of motor seizure a special feature okay what is the second one uh, there is uh, one more type which is called as epilepsia partialis continua epilepsia partialis continua this is the second type here the seizures may continue for hours together this occurs only in particular area it can be in, in only a focal area it can be some leg or hand or something but this continues for hours or days so that is epilepsia uh, par partialis continua and there is one more feature for the motor seizure which is called as tots palsy so here tots palsy it is also called as post the post seizure paralysis okay just after the seizure the patient will have uh, paralysis so post convulsion paralysis so if you see uh, the limb which is involved so if uh, uh, the leg is involved then the power of that leg will be zero okay so that is post convulsion paralysis so this is the third type which is called as tots palsy okay this is the first type of a uh, focal seizure without discognitive features now what is the second type of focal seizures without discognitive features so the second type is sensory type so in sensory type there can be problems in the uh, sensations of the body 
so there can be problems in the sensation so there can be uh, paresthesia these uh, problems in sensation is called as paresthesia or there can be difficulty in vision where the person sees uh, different types of lights or hallucinations can be seen or there can be feeling of vertigo so the person has feeling of vertigo he has loss of uh, equilibrium so vertigo can be there flashing lights can be seen or hallucinations can be seen so these are the different types of sensory uh, abnormalities which are seen in focal seizures without these cognitive features now the third one is autonomic features so in autonomic features the person may have autonomic symptoms so what autonomic symptoms the person may have the person may have sweating okay he may have flushing okay the person may have sweating he may have flushing or he may also have a uh, pilo erection all his uh, hair may get erected okay so what are the features that he can have sweating flushing pilo erection these are the more autonomic symptoms which can be seen and then next he can have the fourth one he can have some psychic symptoms okay these psychic symptoms are alteration in cortical functions higher cortical functions like memory all those can be altered then fifth one he can have uh, hearing alteration in hearing and olfactory centers so hearing may go wrong or olfactory sensation may be uh, altered so uh, these can be there okay uh some people some 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 uh, some uh, individuals with this focal seizures without this cognitive features they can have uh, some fear or they can have illusions they can have some depersonalizations they cannot identify themselves all these can also be seen so this is about focal seizures without this cognitive features now let us learn about the focal seizures with this cognitive features so these focal seizures with this cognitive features here there is loss of consciousness and also there is loss of cognitive ability so here here the seizure begins with an aura okay so what is an aura what aura is some uh, you know mm, behavioral uh, change or um aura can be of different types it can be just uh, uh, sensory aura or motor aura with small movement can be there okay so it starts with an aura and then it goes or uh, it progresses to ictal phase where the patient has behavioral arrest if he is doing some work he stops doing some work he just has uh he may have motionless stare he just stares at the persons or he may have a behavioral arrest that is whatever he is doing he stops at that point of time so that is ictal phase so during this phase the person has impaired awareness he does not know what he is doing at this phase okay now after the ictal phase it will progress to automatisms so what is automatisms automatisms are some involuntary behavior so if you see uh, what involuntary behavior so uh, for example like uh, uh, picking movement of the hand like he is trying to pick something so this movement can be there or he is chewing chewing involuntarily he is not eating something but he chews it choose just chewing or he can have lip smacking or some swallowing movements or sometimes even emotions can be there so those are automatisms so after automatisms there will be convulsions okay convulsions involving at least one part okay uh, of the body and then 
uh, these convulsions last for seconds to hours and once these convulsions are over the person recovers consciousness okay now he is normal but but the person cannot recover recall what has happened before so there is anti retrograde amnesia he is not able to recall what has happened and sometimes he can also have post ictal aphasia so what is post ictal aphasia here the person is not able to speak after the episode so this is how the episode of focal seizures with discognitive features will progress so this is about the focal seizures uh, with uh, focal seizures so what is the treatment of choice for these focal seizures i would like to just tell it now so that it becomes easier for you so the main treatment of choice for this for all for both focal seizures without discognitive features and focal seizures with discognitive features that is uh, we can tell it by a mnemonic which is lokpal you know the lokpal bill which which has uh, uh, been there in india so that is a mnemonic l is lamotrigine lamotrigine is the first line drug and then the second is oxcarbamazepine the third one is carbamazepine and then phenytoin and lavitaricetam so uh, what is what are the side effects of these drugs uh, but in some books um it was written that carbamazepine or ox carbamazepine has is first line but really speaking now lamotrigine has been has replaced these drugs because lamotrigine has one of the side effect which is called has steven johnson syndrome uh but that is severe side effect and only a few persons will have the the frequency of the side effect is very less whereas carbamazepine it has side effects of aplastic anemia and other side effects which are really uh, common whereas phenytoin it has hypertrophic gum hypertrophy hypersensitivity reactions next it can also have hydantoin syndrome um and other side effects lavitaricetam is also one drug which is a newer epileptic drug but this is not generally used so in increasing order first we start with uh, lamotrigine then we can give ox carbamazepine or carbamazepine and we can go on like this so this is the drug of choice which is seen um, in focal seizure so first drug of choice is lamotrigine okay so this is about focal seizures uh, i think you have understood focal seizures without discognitive features and with discognitive features in our next class we learn about generalized seizures so thank you guys for watching my lecture uh, please subscribe the channel for the next video thank you